Shaking things up at UC San Diego. Yes. Today, you can learn about earthquake safety and preparedness while feeling the effects of a magnitude 7 in a live earthquake simulator. That's You're all very excited important. About but what's even more important is that ABC 10 News reporter Adam Campos is there. He is inside the simulator right now. Adam, are you ready for this? What are we cranking this up to? Hey, good morning, Jared and Mel. Jared, I told you I, we were going to get in here, and now we finally are. And now I'm going to go ahead. We're going to turn this on so you could give it. We get to check it out. And here to join us to tell us a little bit more about what they're doing out here is John Goodell. He's a part of the Office of Emergency Services. Appreciate you for being here with us. So it's getting started right now. Let's see. Let's let's crank it up all on the way if we can. And there it goes. Okay. So. Kind of explain this, what are we here for? Yeah, so this is a great California shakeout tour. We're starting here today in San Diego, uh, going to Los Angeles tomorrow, and then back up north to uh, Sacramento on Wednesday. But we're riding in the earthquake simulator right now, and this replicates a 7.0 magnitude earthquake. So as you can tell, significant shaking. If this was a real life situation, you'd want to drop cover and hold on to protect yourself. That was pretty strong. That can knock you onto your butt pretty quickly. That was that was pretty strong to actually feel it. I've felt an earthquake before, but to feel that shake and how it just tosses you around, nothing like that. So it's cool that people could actually come out here and get that experience. Now, there is a system that the state of California has that's unique to, to the state. It's the first of the kind of in, in the nation for early warnings and detections of earthquakes. Tell us a little bit more about that system. Yeah, it's called the MyShake app. I'd recommend everybody go out there and download it today. Uh, it can provide you up to tens of seconds of notification, depending on where you are from the epicenter. So the closer you are to the epicenter, the less time you'll get. The further away, you can get up to 30 seconds, maybe more notification. Uh, think about all the apps that we have on our phone from sports and entertainment and news. None of those could protect your, uh, your uh, save your air save your life. Uh, potentially this app could do that. And how was that how was that technology developed? Like what what came into to getting that ready and set, set for people to have? Yeah, so it's a partnership with UC Berkeley. We have sensors uh, spread out throughout the entire state uh, that to, to detects the earthquake, sends out the signal. Uh, you get that on your phone, gives you seconds to protect yourself and it allows you to take those protected actions and uh, drop cover and hold on. Well, John, we appreciate you for joining us inside the simulator. It was great to be able to actually test it out with the max it was. So if you want to come out here to UC San Diego and check out the simulator, it starts open to the public at 7 o'clock, runs until 12. And then, as John said, if you want to download the app to make sure you are safe in case of an earthquake, you can do that on any apps for any phone. So for now, live at UC San Diego, Adam Campos, ABC 10 News. Uh, that's a lot of information he gave all while experiencing a, a major earthquake. Couldn't have been that major of an earthquake if he's still late either. He's really impressive able to get all that information out while shaking around or maybe they need to crank it up a little higher. Well, Adam, he's a pro. He's, he's a, a pro. pro. Thank you Adam. Great job out there.